Hi, welcome to Market Alert for Thursday the 26th of uh, October 2017. So yesterday in the pound, following the spectacular increase in uh, the GDP forecast of 0.1, it sent the pound moving sharply higher. Uh, there was a potential seg- sell signal before, and obviously the market just turned around on the news and that was it. It was all the way up. Uh, following the release of the uh, GDP figures and of course made the mainstream news as well. Hardly uh, news in my opinion but uh, we'll see and wait for it to be revised uh, down. Of course uh, the reason for the pound moving higher is that it adds pressure now to uh, Barney Carney to uh, increase interest rates because uh, it looks like everything's fine. Uh, we don't want inflation getting out of control, which is nonsense because that's exactly what they want. I'm not going to tell you that. So I'll wait and see uh, the next uh, meeting in o- uh, not October, in November, and see if uh, rates go up by a quarter of 1%, uh, back to where they were before we dropped them last year. So nothing changed, really. But uh, of course, the media will be making a big song and dance about it. But we'll wait and see. Well, that's the uh, the backstory for that one. And in the daily chart, you can see how the market's moved up. It's now sitting at the 76% to a 132.77 is where the resistance is in this market at the moment. So it's still sideways, as you can see there. So it's either got to uh, break out to the upside or reverse and come back. And Newsday. Yes, it's the one we've all been waiting for. Somewhere in here, we've got an ECB press conference. This is on the market's waiting for today. Uh, Khan, uh, not Carney, uh, Super Mario will be out at 1.30 p.m. to talk about uh, tapering of the 60 billion a month down to 30 billion a month and then down to nothing. That's if, uh, of course, uh, the rumours and the prediction is correct. But that's what uh, we're going to be waiting for at 1.30. It will be interesting to see what he is going to do and how that uh, impacts uh, upon the market uh, as well. And talking about impact in the market, yesterday we saw the Dow uh, pulling back. As I said, there is an anomaly in the implied volatility where it has been marked up with the recent up move. And yesterday it looks like uh, the pressure cooker uh, couldn't take much more and we saw the market uh, moving lower there. Down. Uh, 200 points at one point in the session. Market finding support uh, down at uh, the 23, 250 level. And then the obligatory plunge protection coming back into the market before the close and bringing the market back up over 100 points before uh, the close of the session. So again, no surprise there. They want the market up. They want it back on the highs. So we'll have to wait and see what um, Mario's reaction is today and how the market handles that. In the daily chart, an interesting picture here. We've got um, the overnight market is uh, slightly sideways to lower, uh, which you can see at the moment. So what I'd be inclined to do now is just to see how much momentum this market's got by clicking on the high down to yesterday's low where they brought the market back. And there you can see just bring that off the top of the chart there. There you can see we've got um, a potential resistance area here at uh, 23,429 if the market uh, comes back. Also now what's going to be important in this market is uh, yesterday's low as well. We are due for a correction. It's been, what is it, 16 months or something we looked at the other day since we've had a correction in this market. We need a good 20% pullback to shake out the market and certainly yesterday they tried to bring the market back, no doubts about that. You can see here a huge volume. And um, when you move the chart across, you can see how big of a spike uh, this is uh, compared to uh, the up move where we saw the market rising on fresh air. I don't know whether the distribution at this level, it's certainly uh, indicative of some sort of distribution, but yesterday is certainly uh, convincing buying back either by uh, the plunge protection team or people seeing this is a this is the new pullback instead of getting a decent pullback of 20% and then riding the market uh, a pullback now might be in the new paradigm of this market 
just a, a one day event 200 points down and then buy it back who knows um, but certainly some weakness around there on the overnight at the moment if we look at that in the five minute chart you'll see uh, prices just uh, sort of uh, uh, glued at the moment to the 23 349 a bit like a magnet at the moment you can see it um, oscillating there around this level right quick look at uh, the implied volatility before we can so in the implied volatility we've got um, 10.20 for Tuesday yesterday uh, work this one out we've got a situation where the implied volatility should have moved higher because we had a 200 point drop I think this is because there's a relief the market came off the lows and also uh, the selling into the VIX futures market bringing the uh, the VIX down and thereby the implied volatility also seeing the market recover that 100 points was enough to um, convince the option sellers that maybe uh, it isn't as bad as it looks at the moment but we'll see as I say what uh, Draghi's got to say today and also how the market reacts to it uh, once uh, he speaks at 1.30 it's the big news event of the week and a very important one because uh, again like Yellen it's a matter of uh, uh, waiting to see how they're actually going to manage to offload all of this debt that they've been uh, buying every month on the central bank balance sheet unprecedented never been here before so it's going to be an interesting ride over the next few months to see how they're going to actually do it right that will uh, do it for this one if there's anything to report i will let you know we'll certainly keep an eye on the market around 1:30. and uh, as ever thanks for watching see you in the next one